Have you ever wondered what makes our solar system so unique in the vast expanse of the universe? Our celestial neighborhood is an incredible cosmic ballet, a carefully choreographed dance of planets, moons, asteroids, and comets, all revolving around the fiery stage of the sun. At the heart of our solar system sits the sun, a vibrant star that breathes life into our world. Within its orbit, four rocky planets huddle close, Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars, each with its own story etched into its surface. Beyond them, an asteroid belt serves as a celestial boundary, separating the inner planets from the gas giants Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Further still, the Kuiper belt and the distant Oort cloud are home to countless icy bodies, while various moons orbit their parent planets, each a world in its own right. And let's not forget the wandering comets and the often overlooked dwarf planets. Our journey begins with the star of our solar system, the Sun. At the heart of our solar system lies the Sun, a burning ball of gas. This glowing star, with its immense gravity and magnetic field, commands the celestial dance of planets, asteroids, and comets. It's a colossal nuclear furnace, where hydrogen fuses into helium, releasing energy that lights and warms our world. The Sun's radiance extends far beyond our Earth, reaching the most distant corners of our solar system. Its role is not just limited to providing light and warmth. The sun breathes life into our planet, driving weather, regulating seasons, and even powering photosynthesis, the process that provides oxygen for us to breathe. It's our ultimate energy source, fueling everything from natural processes to human innovation. But the sun isn't just a giver of life, it's also our protector, with its solar wind helping to shield us from harmful cosmic radiation. So our sun is more than just a star, it's our solar system's beating heart. Now let's venture towards the inner planets beginning with Mercury. The inner planets, Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars, are the rocky neighbors closest to our Sun. These planets are small, dense, and have rocky surfaces, hence their nickname, the terrestrial planets. Our journey begins with Mercury, the smallest planet in our solar system and the closest one to the Sun. Its surface is riddled with craters and it experiences extreme temperature fluctuations. Next up is Venus, our closest planetary neighbor, shrouded in a thick atmosphere that traps heat, making it the hottest planet in the solar system. Then we come to Earth, our home, the only known planet to support life. It's the largest of the inner planets and the only one with liquid water on its surface. Our last stop is Mars, the red planet. Its rusty surface and thin atmosphere have been the subject of countless explorations in search of past life. Beyond Mars, we find a vast field of debris known as the Asteroid Belt. Beyond Mars, we encounter the Asteroid Belt, a region filled with millions of asteroids. This cosmic gravel pit forms a sort of boundary, marking the end of the inner solar system. Suspended in the vastness of space, the asteroids range from tiny pebbles to objects hundreds of kilometers across. As we venture further, we're greeted by the gas giants. Jupiter, the largest planet in our solar system, boasts a stunning array of moons and a stormy atmosphere. Saturn, with its iconic rings, is a celestial jewel. Further still, we find Uranus, the icy blue planet tilted on its side, and Neptune, the furthest gas giant known for its deep blue hue and ferocious winds. These planets are not just colossal gas balls. They're complex worlds with unique characteristics and fascinating mysteries waiting to be discovered. Farther beyond Neptune, we find the Kuiper Belt. Beyond the realm of the gas giants, we enter the outer reaches of our solar system. Here we encounter the Kuiper Belt, a vast region of space populated by icy bodies and dwarf planets. Among these icy inhabitants is the famous dwarf planet, Pluto, once considered the ninth planet in our solar system. It's a world of ice and rock, with a heart-shaped glacier that's larger than Texas and Oklahoma combined. Further beyond, we encounter the scattered disk, a region filled with icy minor planets and where the boundary between the influence of the Sun and the interstellar medium begins to blur. This is the realm of the dwarf planet Eris, which is more massive than Pluto, and staked its claim in our understanding of what constitutes a planet. Next, we venture into the Oort Cloud, a theoretical sphere of billions, perhaps trillions of icy bodies surrounding our solar system. It's so far away that light from the Sun takes over a year to reach it. The Oort Cloud is the birthplace of many long-period comets, those celestial travelers that swing by our Sun only once in thousands of years. In these outer reaches we also find a myriad of moons orbiting the planets. From Titan, 
Saturn's largest moon with its thick atmosphere and liquid hydrocarbon lakes, to Neptune's Triton, an icy world thought to be a captured Kuiper Belt object. These moons are worlds unto themselves, each with unique and exciting landscapes and atmospheres. And let's not forget the comets, those icy wanderers that put on such a spectacular show when they swing by the sun. Comets, like the famous Halley's Comet, originate from the outermost regions of our solar system. Their long, glowing tails a testament to the sun's far-reaching influence. In these outer regions we also find the mysterious comets. Each one a relic from the early solar system, their icy nuclei contain pristine material, providing us a window into the past and helping us understand how our solar system came to be. Comets, the icy travelers of our solar system, come from these farthest reaches. These celestial bodies, often described as dirty snowballs, are composed of a mixture of water ice, frozen gases, rock, and dust. As they venture close to the sun, they heat up and release gas and dust in a glorious display known as a coma or tail, which can stretch for millions of kilometers. Comets are thought to originate from two distant regions of the solar system, the Kuiper Belt, a region beyond Neptune filled with icy bodies, and the distant Oort Cloud, a theoretical sphere of comets that surrounds our solar system at a staggering distance. But comets are not the only residents in the outermost reaches of our solar system. Dwarf planets, like the well-known Pluto, also reside here. These celestial bodies are similar to regular planets but they lack certain criteria, such as the ability to clear their orbit of other debris. Pluto, the most famous of these dwarf planets, was once considered the ninth planet of our solar system until its reclassification in 2006. It's a fascinating world with a heart-shaped glacier, towering mountains made of water ice and a thin, hazy atmosphere. Besides Pluto, there are four officially recognized dwarf planets in our solar system, Eris, Haumea, Makemake, and Ceres. Each of these outermost bodies has unique characteristics that make them special. For instance, Haumea is shaped like a rugby ball, while Eris is more massive than Pluto, and Ceres is the only dwarf planet located in the asteroid belt. From the icy comets that light up our skies to the intriguing dwarf planets, these outermost bodies hold key insights into the formation and evolution of our solar system. They remind us of the vastness of space and the endless possibilities for exploration and discovery. These outermost bodies conclude our journey through the solar system. Our solar system, a small part of the Milky Way galaxy, holds wonders beyond our imagination. From the fiery center, our sun, to the inner planets of Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars, each is a testament to the diversity of celestial bodies. Beyond them lies the asteroid belt, a ring of rocky remnants from our solar system's formation. The gas giants Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune dominate the outer reaches with their massive sizes and swirling storms. Beyond them, the Kuiper belt and Oort cloud are teeming with icy bodies, including dwarf planets and comets, each with its own unique tale to tell. Let's not forget the numerous moons, each orbiting their parent planet from volcanic Io to icy Europa. They add to the rich tapestry of our solar system. These celestial bodies, from the tiniest comet to the largest gas giant, form a cosmic ballet that has been dancing for billions of years. Although we've explored much, there's still a vast universe out there waiting for us to uncover its secrets.